The purpose of the spark plug is to create an electric spark that ignites the compressed air fuel mixture in the cylinder. When the air fuel mixture is ignited, it creates a small explosion that pushes the piston down and generates power that drives the engine. The number of spark plugs the engine has depends on the number of cylinders it has. Each cylinder inside an internal combustion engine requires a spark plug to ignite the air fuel mixture. For example, a 4 cylinder engine will have 4 spark plugs, a 6 cylinder engine will have 6 spark plugs, and so on. However, there are some exceptions to this rule. For instance, some engines have multiple spark plugs per cylinder to improve combustion efficiency and increase power output. If you want to know how many spark plugs your vehicle has, I suggest getting a repair manual for your specific make and model. Spark plugs will be located underneath the ignition coils. If you can spot the coil or spark plug wires, you'll be able to find them. In a 4 cylinder engine, they are typically located at the top of the engine in a row of 4. In a 6 or 8 cylinder engine, the spark plugs will be in rows of 3 or 4 either on the left and right right sides of the engine or the front and back sides. The first symptom of faulty spark plugs is having a check engine light on. In some situations, you may also notice the engine light flashing. This happens when the engine is misfiring. If you're not sure what a misfire is, in simple terms, a misfire is when there's no mini explosion in the combustion chamber. There could be multiple reasons causing a misfire, and a spark plug is one of them. If the spark plug fails to create a spark to ignite the air fuel mixture, then there won't be combustion in that cylinder, resulting in a misfire. Here's a list of misfire related engine codes. To be able to retrieve these codes, you'll need an OBD2 scanner. I'll leave the one that I use in the description below. The second symptom is a rough idle. You'll feel your car shaking in the stop position. This is caused by the misfires occurring in the engine created by the lack of spark. The third symptom is a loss of power. You'll notice the vehicle being a lot slower than usual. The amounts of power lost will depend on how many cylinders are misfiring. For example, if two out of four cylinders are misfiring, then your engine will lose 50% of its power. The next symptom is a vehicle jerks or stutters when pressing on the gas pedal all the way down. Let me give you a personal example. My car was driving great, with no problems with idle, and no check engine light on. The only time I saw the engine light was when I floored on the gas pedal. The engine light would flash and the car would stutter to accelerate as if it's running out of fuel. This happened because the spark plugs were able to perform well in situations that required minimal effort, but failed to work in situations that required more demand. The fifth symptom is poor gas mileage. Since the spark plug is not igniting the air fuel mixture, the excess fuel will be wasted going through the catalytic converter and out the tailpipe. It's basically the same thing as having a fuel leak while the engine runs. The sixth symptom is a hard start. This is created due to the misfires occurring in the engine. A properly running engine needs all cylinders to create combustion to push the pistons downward to generate power and keep the engine running. If three out of the six cylinders are working, then your engine will struggle to get the car started. If you want to determine if your spark plugs are defective, then remove them and perform a visual inspection. Look at the spark plugs to see if there are any visible signs of damage, such as cracks, wear, or corrosion. If you see any of these signs, it's likely the spark plug is bad and needs to be replaced. In addition, make sure the electrode is clean and free of dirt as this can prevent the spark from occurring. If everything looks good, use a spark plug gap tool to check the gap between the center electrode and the ground electrode. The gap should match the specifications listed in your owner's manual. If the gap is too wide, the spark plug may not be able to produce a spark. Also, make sure to replace your spark plugs at the mileage your owner's manual recommends. For example, my Ford Fusion recommends spark plug replacement at 100,000 miles. Yours can be sooner than that. If you have any other issues with your car, make sure to check out the Auto Symptoms playlist.